Hey, hello everybody, it is me Smilo here and it's me Smilo and we are here with our friends in New Mexico's Ice Age at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science in Albuquerque where we are going to hang out with some of the most infamous and most iconic creatures of the Ice Age. So get ready because history is about to come to life. In fact, it already has. As you can see, Smilo and I are here with the saber tooth cat. He's right here with us underneath this Smilodon exhibit and the Smilodon is perhaps one of the most iconic predators of the Ice Age. This prehistoric feline was most famous for its knife bite teeth which were perfectly designed for stabbing and killing. Oh my gosh, man, he's very vicious. Measuring at about six to eight feet long and weighing at about 600 to 800 pounds, the saber-toothed cat roamed freely throughout both North and South America. Smilodon is often thought of simply as a lion with big teeth and a short tail, but it was a very different cat. It is the ancient ancestor of all big cats, but it is not closely related to any modern-day felines. In many ways, Smilodon was a lot like a modern-day lion. They were roughly the same size, but Smilodon was twice as heavy. Oh my gosh, he caught us off guard for a second there. Smilodon was a very robust feline. Imagine a big cat with the body build of a bear. Smilodon was very powerful and very muscular, which is why it was able to conquer such large prey animals. Being made of 600 to 800 pounds of pure muscle, it was one of the most powerful cats to have ever existed. Wooly and I are in here with the Wooly Mammoth, but the exhibit on the left is actually a Colombian Mammoth, which is actually one of the largest land mammals to have ever existed in the Americas. Oh boy. Whoa, take it easy there, buddy. Calm down, calm down. Yeesh, kind of risky having this massive giant in this small room. Gray and I are here with a dire wolf. As you can see, she's right here with us next to this dire wolf exhibit. And the dire wolf is the largest dog to have ever existed. Much bigger than its modern day cousins, the gray wolf. Wow, did you hear that? That was a beautiful howl right there. The dire wolf roamed freely throughout the United States, Canada, and Mexico. It measured roughly 5 to 6 feet in length and weighed about 150 to 200 pounds, which is about 25% heavier than the largest gray wolf. <laughs> wow, another beautiful howl right there. Yeah, she's got a very beautiful howl. A very pretty dire wolf. Smilodon was one of the deadliest and most successful predators of its time. Like all big cats, Smilodon was not built for long chases and preferred to ambush its prey using stealth. It would launch a short range attack and wrestle the prey to the ground using its great strength. And then it would use its knife-like teeth to bite down on the victim's belly or throat, causing it to bleed to death. Fossil evidence even suggests that it lived and hunted in social groups like modern day lions do. Oh my gosh! Man, he gets us every time. Smilodon's saber teeth was an essential key to its hunting success and to its survival. Smilodon fangs grow twice as fast as the fangs of any other big cat and will grow to their fullest at the age of three. So you definitely never want to fall victim to the savage bite of this big cat it's like getting stabbed twice with one bite. Standing at about 13 feet tall, the Colombian mammoth was a bit larger but not as hairy as the woolly mammoth which lived further up in the north. The woolly mammoth had its characteristic shaggy fur coat and a thick layer of fat to keep it warm in the frigid temperature temperatures of the ice age. Oh man, take it easy, take it easy buddy. My closest living relative of the mammoth is the Asian elephant. The American mastodon is another extinct species of elephant that is closely related to the mammoth. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy there, big guy. Mammoths had arched shoulders and bulky heads, and they had small ears to help regulate their body temperatures in the cold. And they used their long curved tusks to remove snow from rich vegetation. These mega beasts have to spend most of their time eating in order to survive, and their massive size offered protection from most predators, and perhaps the most iconic animal of the Ice Age. The dire wolf was a lot like the modern gray wolf, both coexisted together during the Ice Age. Yeah, we hear you loud and clear, girl. Like modern day wolves, the dire wolf traveled and hunted in packs. These top dogs were capable of bringing down large prey animals. And just like modern day wolves, they also howled to communicate with each other and establish their whereabouts and their territory. Yep, just like that. She may be very calm right now, but it wouldn't be wise to get too comfortable around this dangerous predator. And those bone-crushing teeth, the largest of these cats could grow to be 30% larger than an African lion. Smilodon was also thought to have spots based on the environment it lived in. Even the name Smilodon means knife tooth, and you can clearly see why, because of its knife-like teeth. Whoa, oh my gosh, how many heart attacks can this guy give us? So cool that we got to hang out with these magnificent creatures in New Mexico's Ice Age. So that's it for now, thank you for watching, please be sure to like, share, content, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys later.